Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to the cage. So inside of this base, there are a couple of hidden Teslas, and what we're about to do guys, we are going to see if one single troop can defeat the cage. Now as I said, there is a Barbarian King inside of there, this is my Baby Tony account, this is my Mini account, and of course there are four level 1 Teslas. So in a few moments time, we are going to see if one single troop can defeat the Barbarian and take down the four Teslas. Now we're going to try a variety of different troops. We're going to start off by using the Barbarian, then we're going to try the Wizard, then we may even try troops like the Miner, a Valkyrie and a Witch. So stay tuned guys, this episode is about to take off. So one quick announcement, it should be official, we are going to start the raffle for the 1 million subscriber giveaway either in this episode or the next one guys. So if you want the chance to win a Playstation 4 or an Xbox One, all you need to do is leave a like on this episode right now just to show some support to the channel guys. It only takes a second, drop a like on the video and of course make sure you subscribe to the channel. Only subscribers will have the chance to enter. Now either in this episode or the next one there will be a new raffle in the description box. Most likely going to be in the second episode guys, I will let you know when it comes, all you need to do is click on that link, hit enter and you will be entered into the 1 million subscriber giveaway. So all that being said, let's get ourselves into this challenge. So we're about to take on the cage using a single barbarian guys, but of course we are going to be using healers as well. So it's basically going to be, uh, we're going to see if the healers can keep this little barbarian alive. So we're going to drop in the healers first, now they're going to pop up some teslas, but that's cool. Here we go, one Barbarian's down, now we can't even see the Barbarian. Is the Barbarian King gonna kill it? Did it get killed in a single- I didn't even think it was gonna die in a single shot. Okay, the Barbarian's just not gonna work. We're just gonna end that right there. Barbarian's dead, guys, we're not gonna try Barbarian again. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna edit the army, delete a Barbarian, and delete a single healer. And we're gonna try it again, except this time we're gonna use a Wizard. Are you ready, Harry? So we're sending the second challenge through from Baby Tony, guys. There we go. So we're going to take on the base once again using this time the wizard. So we're going to see if the wizard can actually, you know, stay alive and see if we can take out the uh, take out this actual cage troll base. So here we go. We're going to drop down a rage spell as well. Let's see if Mr. Potter can keep it alive. So it looks like Harry's alive, but we cannot see him. But he's actually taking out the Barbarian King. Where is he? Looking for Harry. There he is, guys. A level 7 wizard appears. And he's destroyed the cage. There is only one actual defense left. Not only has he destroyed the cage, he's actually about to break the law and make it out. So let's see what he can do. Let's see how much damage he can do to the rest of the base. You know what? Let's drop down a rage spell. Here we go. Mr. Potter is about to rage up. Is he going to take out the Archer Queen as well? This is going to be interesting. So the Archer Queen's going to look and load on Harry. He dies. R.I.P. Harry. I love you, but you're dead. So let's end that there again. You know what guys, we're going to try that one more time. We're going to use the wizard once again to see whether he can actually, you know, defeat the base again. Now if you have made it this far into the episode guys, I would actually like you to tell me down below for the giveaway, what would you prefer to have, the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox? Let me know down below in that comment section guys. So we're going to send the challenge once again so that we can take on the base using Harry Potter. So we are going to change the troop up in a second's time, but this time I want to try and um, I want to try and actually see Mr. Potter. So we're going to drop all the healers there. We're going to drop every single one of them in. Then we're going to drop a rage spell. Then we're going to drop Harry. So let's see what Harry can do this time. Okay, here we go. He's going to take out that Tesla pretty quickly. While Baron King doing damage to him once again. Where is that inferno? There it is. The Eagle Artillery is annoying me, but it's okay. We get out. Whoa! All oh, healers are dying, guys. Here we go. Heal spell's going to go down. Trying to send the healers back to max HP before the Eagle Artillery actually lands. So once again, Harry has taken out the cage. Let's see if he's going to be able to get a little bit further this time. He's going into Bandit Country. Check how many Archer Towers are over there. So we're going to drop down a heal spell once again, keeping Mr. Potter and of course those healers alive as Harry is getting ravaged by some skeletons. And those Archer Towers, check it out guys, Harry's going to swing down the bottom, he's always oh, just missed the Spring Trap as well, he's going to take out the Baby Cannon, is he now going to move on to the Archer Towers, yes he is, there are many Skeleton Traps actually uh, popping right now, and it looks like the healers may actually be dying soon, Mr. Potter is still alive, but there go the healers, and Harry's down. So Harry died guys, he did manage to take down 12% of the base though, which isn't bad at all, so, oh, hold on a second guys, we've got 10 million gold. 7.5 million elixir now we are going to be jamming the uh, the heroes in the next episode possibly guys because you guys have actually requested to see that but before we do that that is going to be in the next video as i said we're actually going to gem this uh gem this tesla tower because we have no builders free 
and that's official all four of our tesla towers are now max level so just before we actually spend this loot let's just remove these bushes and trees inside of the base so i think there's three of them there we go we have removed all the bushes and trees so now we can spend our gold 10 million gold and i'm just going to spend 8 million of it in walls guys i don't really uh complete the previous building yet but i don't really uh i don't really want to upgrade another defense because i want to keep one builder free so we got 7.5 million elixir we're going to spend 4 million of that on a wall as well so that's going to take us down to uh 12 million loot spent not bad at all so now it's time to actually edit the army once again harry it has been a pleasure but you're gonna to have to die boy you're gonna die so now we're gonna try valkyrie but we're not gonna use any spells because i've got a feeling the valkyrie is gonna be way too overpowered guys so let's test this out. We're going to send in the challenge. We're not going to use any spells until she actually defeats the cage. So as long as she can defeat the cage, then we may use some spells. So this time, we're going to switch this up, guys. We're going to spread out these healers in a mass kind of spread. And we're going to drop a rage spell directly in the center. The Valkyrie against the cage. Let's see what she's going to do. Valkyrie taking out the Barbarian King. She is pretty much stormtrooping the center of this base. Doing some real damage. And of course, the, uh, the healers... And now starting to group up. We're going to need to drop a heal spell on the Valkyrie. Otherwise, I think the Eagle Artillery might actually kill her. She alive? She alive? Whoa, losing healers to air mines and air bombs there, guys. Plenty of them actually coming up. So we're going to drop another Rage spell and a heal spell. Rage up the healers, which means those healers are going to go to town. Making sure that that Valkyrie is staying alive. We've actually just beat the Wizard. 13%. The Wizard only got 12 so the Valkyrie is in the lead. Now we're going to actually uh, try this another again after this uh, this attempt by the Valkyrie. But we're going to use the Witch. Possibly one of the most interesting troops to use. So of course the Witch is actually going to spawn up extra skeletons guys. So it's going to be interesting. We are actually arriving into the air defense section of the base. This is going to be cool. Let's see if these air defenses are actually going to take down my healers. So we've got the Valkyrie who's decided to be annoying and get stuck on gold storages whilst the healers are slowly getting ripped apart by those level one air defenses valkyrie's taking so long to take down the gold storage guys taking a while here but here we go gold storage just gone down now she's gonna go hopefully no go towards the air defenses double big pom's gonna go off doesn't really do any damage to her though we need to take out these air defenses whoa the valkyries are really sorry not the valkyries the healers are really starting to get punished now valkyrie has completely ignored the air defenses and it looks like they're going to take out the rest of the healers. Still loads of them alive, though. So this is going to look better than I actually expected, guys. Imagine if we get a one-star. Can we get 50% using a single Valkyrie against the Cage Troll base? Now, I would love to try an Archer on this base, guys. But, of course, the Barbarian King is just going to one-swipe her. So there's no point doing that. Valkyrie's actually still alive. I mean, we could probably go on forever. But we are going to end this here because I do not want to bore you guys. So we're going to send another challenge. This time... It is time to try out the witch. So, edit the army, delete the Valkyrie, and we're going to cook ourselves a little cheeky witch. So, here we go, guys. Got to boost that. Sorry, not boost it. Gem it. Now, we're going to get ourselves into one of the final attempts. We may try one more troop after this, actually. We're going to try the witch. Now, the witch, has, the witch has actually received treble hit points since the last update, which means she is going to be extremely powerful on defense. I mean, the Barbarian King just got wiped out by the witch. Skeletons going all over the place. This is interesting. I've never seen this many Larrys on the map from one single witch. I think there's 10, maybe 15 Larrys there doing a decent job. Here we go. The witch and the skeletons making it outside of the base. So we're going to rage up the skeletons here. Eagle Artillery's decided to connect onto the healers, which isn't too bad actually because it's only going to take a couple of them out at once because they're actually spread out on a decent spread there. Going to drop down a heal spell though, just making sure that the healers can stay alive as long as possible. So the Archer Queen actually just got taken out by the Witch and a couple of Larrys, which is pretty damn insane considering Larrys are probably the weakest troop inside of the game, guys. So we're going to try one more troop after this. I'm not sure which one we can try. What can we do? I would love to try the Hog Rider or the Miner, but the Miner, does the Miner go for Barbarian? Yeah, the Miner goes for Barbarian King. You know what? Let's try the Miner. Let's end this here, guys. Before we do end this episode, let's just try one more attempt at this this time. We're actually going to attempt the miner, so we're going to go into the uh, the edit army mode, delete the witch, and we're going to bring ourselves a miner. So here we go, miner's ready, and now we can get ourselves into the final attack. Should we see if, if, if just one healer or a couple of healers, let's just drop down four or five. Let's see if the miner can actually take these out, guys. So here we go, rage spell's gone down, where is the miner at? Where is the miner? Miner is currently spanking the king, check it out, guys. He's actually going to, it's unbelievable that a troop can kill a barbarian king, so there he goes. Mine has now gone underground. He's going to arrive on the king's storage. Takes it out in a single, sta uh, single shot. Sorry, the king's uh, the king's stand 
takes out the Teslas as well. These, these, this mine is pretty damn OP. So he's going to take out the uh, one of the final Teslas. We're going to slowly drip some of these healers in. Let's just see if we can keep this mine going. So here we go. Mine is about to arrive. And watch this, guys. He's actually going to go straight underground. I wonder where he must go for that barrack there. Let's see if he's going to go straight for that barrack. He's going to go under the walls, straight over to the barrack. Going to drop down a rage spell just to make sure he's going to stay alive. Here we go. Mine is staying alive. And I'm, I would expect he could actually do 50%. Oh, there we go, guys. We've actually arrived on the Inferno Towers, and it doesn't look like we're going to go much further than this. Dropping in the Barbarian King Queen. Pop all the troops' abilities. Let's see if we can take out the Inferno Towers. There they go. So we are going to end this episode here, guys. There will be a second one coming in a couple of hours' time. It's either going to be uh, me gemming the heroes, as promised, or we may do something a little bit different. I'm not going to tell you what that is, so make sure you do stay tuned. Do not forget to leave a like on the video. Let me know what prize you would love to have, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, guys. I will see you shortly. Peace out.